in the attic. So we have a big old water bubble underneath me on the ceiling. Apparently when it was raining, when it was super humid because it's pretty arid here in Bend. Uh, but when it rains, it's like 90% humidity. This thing was going in overdrive. Um, I suspect that this is clogged uh, because there, he says there's water coming out, but very little. Um, he was filling up two of these buckets. Uh, of course, now it's not, but you know, it, the humidity today, it's like, I think 12%. So it's not condensating much. Uh, so if it's like a, a partial clog, that means it's just a slow drain. So when there's a lot of water, it overwhelms it and then it backs up, but yeah. And then of course they put the secondary in the same line. So that was stupid. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I mean, everything feels okay. That's warm, that's cold. Okay, so I got the coil opened up. I just wanna make sure that the drain pan's not cracked or anything. Uh, it's definitely been overflowing. If you look at that, you can see that's all full of water. So this is the drain pan. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna see if I have a drain switch and then uh, we'll go from there. Um, I'm gonna go in through that filter axis just to make sure that the coil's not plugged up. Okay, so we're gonna look at the inside of the coil. Okay, not plugged, so that's a good sign. Um, and I can see it this way, see? Gotta love the iPhone, iWatch, whatever, Apple Watch. Um, but yeah, and then this side's clear too. So coil's not plugged, so that's a good sign. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut this open, uh, clear it out, and then I'm gonna pour some water in the pan and make sure it drains. I'm probably going to put a cup at the termination point, so I'm going to go find the termination point, get some new filters while I'm at it, and then uh, clear this drain out. And then we'll test it and see if it drains out. My concern is it goes all the way over there, um, and it just doesn't look like it's a good pitch. So that means it's prone to clogging, which you can see there's two of these here, so that means at some point somebody had to clear this. So yeah. Okay, so we're cutting this open. I already got water coming out. Oh, yeah. So this guy is clogged. So I'm proposing that we rerun this drain line because that, that pitch is terrible. Yeah. That's horrible. All right, so I'm going to blow this out. I'm going to blow through here and then through there and then through there. So we got our drain cat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut it over there behind that duct, attach a new one, run it up and over the duct so it's at a upper, a better pitch like that. Because right now it just runs along the ceiling and it bows right there. So. I cleaned it out and it'll probably be fine for a while, but then eventually it's going to clog up again because that's acting like a trap. And then all the dirt and stuff just collects there and clogs it up. Because <clears throat> we thought about running a line straight into that vent, but then during the winter months I would install a trap, but during the winter months the uh, water would evaporate and then you'd get the smell coming up because it looks like every single drain is connected to this one vent. See. So yeah, so that's not gonna work. Would have been easier though, but oh well. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do, uh, assuming we get approval. So uh, we got it all checked out. We got all the filter changes. I just gotta put it together, price it out and talk to the owner and see if they wanna do it. Okay, so we got our PVC piece here. We got our spot down there where we're gonna cut it. See the little X, that's where I'm gonna cut it. And then I already glued on the coupling for on this side. So I'm going to cut that and then immediately glue it in there. And then I have this plug that I built uh, just in case there's water in the line so it doesn't spill everywhere. And it'll give me a chance to cut it up further and then drain it out into a bucket. So here we go. Okay, 
Okay, we got a plug in. Cool. All right, and then we can lift this up like that. All right, cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and glue it and connect our piece. Okay, we're gonna put this down. Okay, we got her glued. Make sure we take everything with us. Okay, so we got our drain line right there. Okay, so we're gonna probably do a 90 right there, have it come across, and then back over here. So, <clears throat> we got our bucket under here just in case any water comes out. And keep in mind, I got this main line plugged at the end. Go ahead and cut this out. And just to be safe, we're gonna put a bucket over here. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut this secondary out so I can take it off. And also, it's gonna let me, to, uh, you know, angle this <coughs> so I can pour the water out of the trap. Oh, that's brittle. sure all that water gets out. Let's see. Get this thing off and we're gonna install a new safety switch. So this is the Rector Sale SS2. It looks like they did a redesign on it. But you can adjust how much float you need to before it sets off. Uh, which is kind of cool, see? So anyway, we're gonna uh, put that on the secondary and then we'll rerun this main drain line. Okay, so how can you tell which one's primary and secondary? Well, one, you can see that this goes straight into the pan. And two, this one has a dam here, so it would require a higher water level for it to come through here. Also, if you notice, this is slightly higher than this. So that's how you can tell. So this is gonna be our primary, this is our secondary, so we're gonna install our switch here, and then this will be our primary drain. Now it's very important when you're putting in these threaded pieces uh, that you put some kind of thread sealant on it, uh, either like, um, you know, some pipe dope or, or some Teflon tape. I'm going to use Teflon tape because the last thing you want is it leaking through the threads. That's the worst. So the old stuff, uh, the old one didn't have anything on it, as you can see here. Here's the old one. There's nothing. No tape. Nothing. So this could have potentially leaked. I've seen it before and it sucks. So I'm going to use the, uh, this here that came with it, and we'll install that to there. Alrighty, so we got her all set up. Um, it's all dry fitted. I haven't glued anything yet. So I want to make sure my pitches are good. So, and then I'm going to put straps to maintain pitches, especially right here. Because right here, it, <coughs> it tends to do that. So I'll fix all that once it's strapped in place. But yeah, you can see here. We have good pitch and we are definitely gonna have good pitch way over there so we should be should drain much better and then I put in a, a vent just so it'll drain a little faster uh, and then I installed the union here so that way we can clean out the um, what do you call it the P trap and then we have a drain switch I just have to wire it up so I'm gonna get gluing and then we're gonna get strapping and then we're going to wire that up and then we'll be out of here. Okay, so we got everything glued. You can see the pitch there is crazy. Uh, so we got plenty of pitch back there. This is what I was concerned with. So our pitch is good. See, we want it that way. And then right here, we want it that way. So it's good. So this thing should drain really good. So all I gotta do now is wire up that drain switch. Alrighty, so we got this thing opened up. I'm just looking at it and I'm just like, they did not wire these properly. Look, there's no Y. And I really don't feel like tracing all these bundles of wires. So we're just going to put it on R since it's a heat pump. Uh, so basically, if the drain switch trips, it'll kill 24 volts to the control system. So it'll just shut off completely. Um, and this was easy because it's right here. Somebody put in a little, a little popper. So anyway, um, yeah, so basically we just, we have 24 volts going in, goes into our drain switch, 
All right, goes to the drain switch, comes back, and then continues on to, in this case, our popper, which will go through the popper and then continue off to supply R to the thermostat and the control board if it has one, which I don't think it does. So yeah, so anyway, we're all set. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back together, turn it on and test our drain switch, make sure it cuts off the unit. Okay, so we have our drain switch. So we do that, unit cuts off, we let go of it, unit comes back on, so it works. All right. Cool, so we're all set. We're gonna go ahead and clean up and get out of here. So anyway, hopefully this helps you if you're in a similar situation, but sometimes just cleaning out the drain won't fix the problem. It'll be a temporary fix. Uh, but sometimes the drain line is just not pitched properly. But yeah, this has got plenty of pitch now. So anyway, and I'm probably gonna put a strap right over there too. But anyway, uh, hopefully this helps. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.